But if you are looking for a job, mm -hmm. you're in luck. A speed hiring event is happening next week. I said instead of meeting like a speed dating right. event, meeting your significant other, uh -huh. maybe, yeah. maybe meeting your future employer. What a neat idea. So here to tell us all about it from the American Job Center, we have Michael Austin along with Jeremy Smith from First Choice Services. Thanks for taking time to talk with us about this today. Hey, thanks for having us, Taylor and Susan. We're yeah. glad to be here. Well, Michael, let's start with you. What is the American Job Center? Hey, thank you, Susan. The American Job Center is a one-stop shop, and this one-stop shop um, right now is the home to 11 different partners. And these partners have come together to help alleviate any barriers to any individual that may come through those doors. Some of those barriers may include employment, housing, wanting to move from one career to another career. We have partners inside that can help with that. It could be a health care need. It could be transportation to get back and forth to work. Um, so it's just a plethora of things within the American Job Center that we're there to help and assist any of those folks that come into those doors, as well as provide and meet the needs of employers mm -hmm. in Kanawha County and in the surrounding areas. Oh, that is great. It is, yeah. And mm -hmm. Jeremy, you, you work with First Choice Services. Talk about your involvement in this event and how you're working to, to help people that, that will come to this, this uh, speed hiring that you all are going to be doing. Yeah, so for us, it, it's a great fit. Uh, so we're a statewide nonprofit organization <laughs> called First Choice Services. We operate most of West Virginia's social service and behavioral health helplines. So we help uh, with the addiction and mental health helpline for West Virginia, help for WV. Uh, we have West Virginia Navigator that helps people find health insurance. Uh, we have the tobacco quit line for West Virginia. We have the 1-800-GAMBLER program. So we wanted to expand to not only assist people over the phone, but also be able to take walk-ins to the community. So uh, we were able to get in at the American Job Center so that if somebody just shows up uh, any, any time, Monday through Friday from 8 to 4, we've got somebody on staff there that can help people, you know, address some of the issues they may have so that they can get into the workforce. And not only are we one of the partners there, there's uh, 10 other partners in the building that can help people with all kinds of services, whether it's removing barriers so they can get a job, uh, or you know, there's just other partners there that can help them mm -hmm. with resume building and help them get into the, the workforce and then people that want to go back to school. So it's a really cool place. Uh, you know, that's why we're calling it the, the, the one-stop shop. Uh, and we were really happy to get in and be able to assist people. Oh, that is great. Okay, so Michael, I noticed that you also have a prepped and polished event as part of this, so talk about it. Thank you. Hey, we're really excited about this, so thank you for having us on. Um, this prepped and polished is really about self-care and also pre preparing individuals for employment opportunities. So on day one, what we're gonna have, as you see on the flyer, we're gonna have massage therapists, we'll have nail technicians, we're gonna have barbers that are provide haircuts for men and women free of charge. We'll have clothing, dental care. For individuals that may not have interviewed in a long time or presented themselves to an employer, we're gonna have space designated inside the American Job Center for them to be with a seasoned professional to sharpen their skills when it comes to interviewing for a job. Mm -hmm. And all of this is in preparation for the next day when we'll have over 30 employers inside the American Job Center, such as, but not in, limited to, uh, AEP, Painters Union, local hospitals, and many more, um, including First Choice. They'll be an employer inside of the American Job Center. Uh -huh. So we're really excited about it, and we're hopeful that the community take advantage of this opportunity. That, yeah, again, removing the barriers. Don't have, the, you know, something to wear, prepped and polished. Man, Need a new haircut. Kudos to you all, mm -hmm. Michael, because you all have thought of everything. Uh -huh. I mean, you talk about trying to help people put their best self yeah. forward. You've done that with this, this event. Now, the prepped and polished, is that going to be followed up by the, the next day? Is that when that speed hiring event itself is taking place? Thank you, Taylor, for saying that because you're right. So that Monday... July 10th will be prepped and polished and we'll get everyone ready, excited, motivated because yeah. the following day on Tuesday, July 11th at 10 a.m., 
we'll have the speed hiring event. And I even like what you said about speed dating because when we <laughs> came up with that term, speed hiring, we were thinking about speed dating. So people can get polished up and ready to meet that future employer. <laughs> right. And that yeah. takes some of the stress away, right? You know uh -huh. what I mean? When you all have helped someone, um, you know, you've kind of given them that day to get ready yes. for it. The next day it's like go time. We're right. ready for it. You know what yeah. I mean? Let, let's let's get started. And have some and fun with it. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Uh, you know, going to job interviews can be very stressful and you're making it more fun, too. Okay, remind everyone how they can get involved in this and what if they're out of town but they really need to be there? Can they still get in touch with you all? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so the, the event will take place, you know, July 10th, July 11th at the American Job Center, 426 Leon Sullivan Way. There'll be some limited parking on site, and then there'll be some paid parking directly across from the Clay Center. There's a lot there. And then also anybody that wants more free parking, uh, they can park at the Piggly Wiggly, and there'll be a free shuttle service all day to bring you over to the American Job Center. So, you know, please come out. Uh, but if for some reason you can't make the event, you know, we're at the American Job Center every day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, we take walk-ins. That's what we really encourage. So if somebody can't make the event mm -hmm. but they still want some assistance with, you know, any of these types of services, mm -hmm. drop in here in Charleston at the American Job Center. And we've got these great partners that can help you, you know, address barriers you may be facing in life and help you get into the workforce or back to school. Uh, it's a really cool concept, and uh, we're just hoping to make a big difference in the community. You're doing it. Yeah. You are. Jeremy, mm -hmm. Michael, love what you're doing. Keep yeah. it up. And uh, again, just uh, major props to you all for, for your passion yes. to, to help others. Everything. You really have. Yeah. Um, so, And don't worry, we'll be posting this information online too in case you're like, oh, I didn't get a chance to write mm -hmm. down everything. I need those dates again. Right. We'll, um, we'll be covered. posting this interview on <laughs> Studio 3's page too. So uh, it was great to have both of you. Best of luck with the event. I hope a lot of people turn out for it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, good to have both right. of you. Thank you.